Today, I will be randomly generating NHL players and selecting 20 to build a team. For today's challenge, I will only be able to see the career penalty minutes of each player. After all my choices have been made, we will assemble the team on NHL 24 and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. What up, fam -lam? Today, we're drafting by penalty minutes. A lot of penalty minutes could mean a lot of ice time, or it could just mean that, you know, they tend to get in a scrap or two. 809 is actually crazy, so we have to go with the middle card. You know what? That makes complete sense all of a sudden. In the middle, we have Jamie Benn. 809, we have Mercer on the left, Roslevic on the right. That's fine. Let's run it back. We have 232 and then two that are very similar. I can't tell you an exact reason, but the one that's down the middle, not the middle card, but the penalty minutes in the middle, calling my name. So we're going for the card on the right. How do we end up with this guy again? We get Brandon Saad on the right. I'm surprised. For some reason, I thought he'd have way more than that. Jake Gensel on the left, 232 would have been fire. 72, have to take it. Great number. Those two are definitely up there. They're probably going to be better overall, but doesn't matter. We're going with the left card. As a matter of fact, we definitely take those. Jesper Bratt is joining the team. We didn't get Svechnikov, which would have been good. Tavares also would have been pretty good, but you know what? I'm happy with what we got. Only 72 penalty minutes. He's not that much of a brat. You know what I mean? For the sake that it's kind of following a pattern of the first three cards, and it is also significantly more than the other two, I'm going down the middle. See, this would have been a good time to take the player with the least amount. We get Perron in the middle, which again, 825 is crazy. Marnsey greedied his way into the right side of the screen. Then we got Frankie Tomatoes on the left. That's not a lot of penalty minutes, which could mean... No, there's no way. Even if you are the most disciplined player in the world, you're probably going to take more than that. Wait, how many did Marner have? Was it 142? I already forget, but we're going with the middle. It was not Marner. We get Mojo, which is, you know, Oh dear. I just realized that I wrote down Marner. Who'd I actually get? New set of players. We get Ben Scrivens. We get 305. That seems like an area code. And we get 599. Just shy of 600. Yeah, let's go to the right. This has been the draft of misses so far. We could have had Velarde on the left. We could have had Sagan in the middle, but instead we get Jordan Stahl. He might be good in the face-off dot, but that's pretty much it. He is going to be a good depth player for us, though. 230, 59, and 205. I'm going for the most. We're going to the left card. Three solid players here. Tyler Toffoli is the one that we scoop up, and that is A-OK -okay with this guy. Are we going to get anybody with a 1,000? Jamie Ben had 900, so I kind of doubt it. Eight penalty minutes is very impressive, considering I have the top 250 filter on. Could be a rookie. Let's go for the middle. No, man, come on. I've wanted Jimmy Stu for so long now, and we just can't get him. But we do acquire a Nick Robertson. Yay. 630 is quite a bit. They have sat in the sin bin for a decent amount of time. Part of me wants to take the 200, but I'm gonna... You know what? No, 200's a nice flat, even number. We're going down the middle. That's okay. He's a pretty good overall, if I remember correctly. So we have Jared McCann in the middle. Max Domi, 630. Never would have guessed that. We are on our final three forwards here. We have two that are pretty close. One that is very much so ahead of the rest. I'm going to take a shot in the dark at the card on the right. Let's go! We get none other than Mika Zabanayad. The other two aren't bad. I still can't believe Jonathan Huberto's fall off. Like, that has got to be monumental. 360 is a pretty cool number. And you know what? The Xbox 360 was a pretty cool console. Left it is. We're kind of on one right now. Again, could have had Gensel. Missed him for a second time, but we do get Mark Shifley in his place. I can't remember who we got over Gensel last time, but I feel like Shifley's probably better. Our final forward is going to be someone who has... 20 penalty minutes. We get a capital. Protus is joining our team as the last forward. Our team really lacks offense, so we have to live on a prayer here that we get good defense and a stellar goaltender. Our first defenseman will have 778. We are absolutely going with the left. I know it's random, but what a weird set of players. All right, Bog, let's get her done. 162, 80, and that is a lot. I'm tempted to go with that one, but I'm not going to. In fact, I'm going the exact opposite with 80. 
down the middle. If we end up making the playoffs, I'm gonna be a little bit surprised. I mean, I guess I'll wait till I actually see the team in action, but we get Lindstrom in the middle. I guess maybe him and Bogosian could be the bottom six, like the last pair. If that's the case, it won't be so bad, but we are in desperate need of a stud defenseman and we're gonna get one with 115. I mean yeah if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball. Zach Wierenski is going to be the newest member of our team. 79 you're very close to 72 we get 88 and 220. Let's split the D go down the middle card wise not pin wise 220. I'm sort of getting the feeling that it just wasn't meant to be today. We get Kulak in the middle 220 pims. The other two probably aren't that high in overall either. I mean if I remember correctly Chatfield was actually very solid for the Canes in the playoffs but mm, show me the money. 487. Definitely the highest overall player here, but again, we're not really getting any studs. Come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever seen, like, Kale McCarr on here. 234 is a very nice count up. 807 is a lot. They've been around. I should go 807, but I'm not going to. We're gonna go with the count up on the left. Holy trombones in a tuba factory. This is a rough one. We get Jared Tenorti. Yeah. Oh, that was our last defenseman, too. You just never know with this game. We could possibly still get a good goaltender here and manage to pull it off. I've seen some horrible teams win the Stanley Cup during simulations, so anything's possible. It's so hard to pick based on save percentage because that 912 could be in one game and the 908 could be over a career, but we have to try and go safe and go for the card on the right. We didn't get a brick wall, but we did secure a solid goaltender in Logan Thompson. That's a great start. Looking forward to seeing how he does for my crapitals. That's not good that's not really that Ooh, we got some stinkers it looks like thompson's probably gonna be our starter not really much to debate here i guess we have to go with the one in the middle scotty scott wedgwood levi would have been cool it is what it is this team reeks of mid well let's go put them together on nhl 24 and see if we can at least be decent we have arrived on NHL 24 and the Jacksonville Jaguars are 90 overall. So this is one of the lower overall teams we've had. But you know what? We've had like 94 and 95 overall teams not work out. So maybe this is actually the one. Wishful thinking. Hey, Jabroni, how's it going? Yeah? Don't care. Guess what? You're not touching my lines. We do have some abilities sprinkled in there. 90 overall is our best player. Maybe we'll have chemistry. My guess is... Not gonna be great, especially on defense. I cannot lie to you right now, we take that. Not bad. Brandon saw it as a sniper? All right, yeah, this is what I expected. Horrible. We can at least get three zeros with this setup, which you know what? I'll take it. And our two goaltenders, 84 and 82 overall. What a strange team. Let's go ahead and say that Jesper Bratt gets the most points and gets his overall in points, so 90. And I will say that this team sneaks in with 42 wins. Yeah, that or we're going to be last in the division, but you know, same thing. Not off to a good start here. We are 6, 11, and 1. Yikes. Okay, but we go on a five game heater and then get absolutely demolished by the Oilers. Just finish with more wins than regulation losses and you'll have a happy camper. Okay, but why is this team kind of cooking all of a sudden? Our coach is an A minus, so I'm probably not gonna get rid of them, but two coaches did just get canned. Ooh, we have an A. I'm doing it. I know the team was doing well and I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I accept with no reservations. What a legend. We went down to a plus three on the second line, but we did get a plus one on the third line. Let's see if defense is affected at all. Incredible. This is awesome, actually. I can even move Kulak up and we still get plus one, plus one, and plus two. Haven't even met the guy personally, but so far, big fan of this coach. They really refuse to do any blockbuster trades unless it's a fantasy draft. The boys are buzzing right now. 42 wins. We have a lot of games left here still, so you know what? We could... No, we're not taking first in the division, but we're certainly making the playoffs. How did Chicago end up third in the division with 100 points? Can someone please explain that to me? Anyway, we got fourth, 99 points. 47 wins on the year. Just to show you how stacked our division is, we finished 8th in the league. But 4th in our division, so yeah. Make of that what you will. This is horrendous. You hate to see it. The New York Islanders finished 11th in the league, 93 points, and they don't get in. But the 17th place Flyers do with 89. 
unbelievable. We nearly had a point of game player. Jesper Brad had 81. He was also a plus 21. We've got some negatives down here, but clearly they offset. 39 points from Zach is decent. Dumba had 23. And yeah, our defensive core as a whole was not super talented. So whatever they did is acceptable. What a stud muffin between the pipes. Logan Thompson, 914 save percentage, 281 GAA. Scott Wedgwood also did very well for a backup. We take those numbers. Georgiev definitely had the most wins, wasn't even close close, but he only had a 902 save percentage, which is not good. The nervous guy that we actually could have had put up a 918. Kale McCarr, the individual that I name dropped during our draft, led the league with 97 points for defensemen. He and Roman Yossi were the only two defenders to be point a game. And Samwise is going to win the Art Ross, and it kind of looks like the Rocket Richard, which is very interesting. Kachuk is right there, 109, and then Bedsy. That explains why Chicago did so well. Yep, he did get the Rocket Richard. Connor was right behind him and then we got a couple 61s there as well. Tage Thompson went off. He's already up to 92 overall. Shocker. Gee, I wonder who's going to win the Calder. No blockbuster trade, so I'm just going to go for it. I think we do have one player from St. Louis. Solid? Yeah, I think that's it. Could have had Bennington again, but nope. First three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see how we're doing. That's a good start. Ooh, ooh. We don't like that. I'm going to risk it and say they don't win the next two. Simulate and oh dear. Okay, all right, can we push a game seven? Not doing real-time sim unless you do. Impressive. Here we go. It is game seven of round one. We're definitely out shooting them right now, but we are not outscoring them, and that is the only thing that matters. Scoreless first period, and of course, Robert... Thomas gonna bury the first goal of the game and Ryan Hartman's gonna pile on top of that They are catching up for shots definitely so it is looking not great for us Can't lie to you boys. We're gonna have to have the third period for the ages here We got to come back from a two goal deficit power play is a great way to do that. They killed it off. We're done. Just Oh, another power play. No, can you guys score on a power play, please? I don't think that's too much to ask for four minutes. Yes, Dumba scores and it's all tied up. Okay, just get it to OT. Golden goal. We have to have the momentum, right? Obviously, the intermission kind of kills that, but... Yes, let's go! Perron scores and the Jacksonville Jaguars move on, baby! I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was like 92% sure we were French toast. But the boys did it. They proved me wrong. First three games. Everybody knows the rules. Florida's gonna be a tough opponent. Yeah. Okay, so we're currently down. Let's sim the next two and hope they don't win them both. They won them both. Your Stanley Cup champions are the Edmonton Oilers. They came so close this year, but in this sim, they got it done. Colorado Eagles, Calder Cup champions. All right, so I do see that Jesper had his guy, but how about Matt Dumba? 10 points in 12 games and five goals? What a mad lad. Ben to Foley, Shifley, a trio of nines. And then we have Wierenski with eight. I don't know why Zib didn't do well. Our four other defensemen did approximately nothing. And Logie did not carry his season performance into the lofts. An 888. Absolutely unacceptable. This guy always sims so good. 921 save percentage for Stewie. 924 for Igor Bobrovsky had a 932. Holy. Kale just continuing to be a stud because that's what he does. 24 points in 17 games. Incredible point a game for Forsling down here and what does the Fox say? Very close. I assume they're gonna give the con Smythe to McDavid with 26 points. You could argue that it belongs to Stewie, but they won't do that. The Breadman did in fact go crazy. 28 points in 22 games. Not too shabby. The Art Ross goes to Reinhardt, but the heart goes to Chucky. So it is split. Kale McCarr gets the Norris. Yup. Reinhardt adding another trophy. He scores the Lady Bing, the Calder, as we already knew. Go into Bedsy. They did award the Con Smythe to McDavid. Bennington gets the Vesna, and Talbot gets the Jennings. Hmm. Bill Masterton awarded to Radko Gudis, whereas Kanopka gets the Jack Adams. Crosby gets the Selkie. I feel like he wins that a lot. Another trophy for Kachuk, and another trophy for Reinhardt. Here's your playoff tray. If you want to see it. We almost had a Florida Edmonton final, but the Rangers just beat them out in seven. Well, thank you for watching. As always, appreciate you. If you could leave a like and subscribe, I'm not going to complain. And on that note, I'll see you soon.